Hello everybody and thank you for joining me on this video presentation from ARIA EP Talk series. In these talks, I present interesting patients every week from our EP lab. I would also like to invite you to visit my website for more case presentations and also the highlights of the latest top published articles in the field of cardiology, electrophysiology, digital health, and of course, COVID-19. If you like this video, please do not forget to press the subscribe button below. This is a 58-year-old man with previous anterior wall myocardial infarction many years ago, large epical aneurysm and severe LV dysfunction, who was referred to our center because of therapy refractory incessant VT for emergency catheter ablation. This is the 12 lit ECG of our patient showing a ventricular tachycardia with a cycle length of 500 milliseconds. The ECG shows a left bundle branch block pattern, which is not uncommon in patients with large aneurysms after anterior wall myocardial infarction. We have an inferior axis and positive one, therefore the origin of the VT should be somewhere close to the septum and superior. In this figure, we see coherent mapping during ventricular tachycardia. Usually, we use multi-electrode mapping for generation of coherent mapping to have more points and more detailed map of the VT or other type of arrhythmia. However, this is an interesting case which shows that even using point-by-point -point mapping and just after having around 200 points, we were able to have an accurate estimate of the circuit of the clinical VT and the location of the critical isthmus of this VT. On the left side, we see a coherent mapping. This is a dynamic mapping. And uh, as I said on previous slide, you can see here the circuit of the VT, even with a limited number of points. On the right side, we see the signal on the successful ablation site, almost a mid-diastolic potential on the critical isthmus. Now we can see also the effect of ablation and then the termination of the ventricular tachycardia. Here we see together again the success signal at the site that the tachycardia was terminated during catheter ablation. I hope you enjoyed this short presentation. If you are interested in coherent mapping, you can find some additional examples on my website. Once again, thank you for joining me and I hope to have you here on my future video presentations.